Okay. There's a few things I want to talk about. I don't know if I've mentioned it before, but I also, I don't remember the last time I filmed and uploaded a video. As I'm sure you guys know, my doctor recommended a service dog for me a while ago. So I've been looking into one for a while and I came across Maverick, found him on the street. He ended up having a great personality temperament for service work. So I started training him and long story short, my family does not want me to use him because they still see him as a family dog and they noticed like how often I would be gone with him since he'd be going like literally everywhere with me and they did not like that so I had to get a different dog I put my name down on a few different wait lists for different breeds um I'm getting a golden retriever on Friday long story short I'm getting a golden retriever and she is going to be trained as a psychiatric medical alert service dog put my name on the wait list for the breeder who I'm getting her from either late May or June. About eight weeks ago, I got a call saying she has a litter for me. So I went and did the temperament testing, found the perfect, perfect little girl. Right now she goes by Pink Collar Girl, which is ironic because when I first put my name down on the wait list, I bought like almost everything for her already. Pretty much everything I bought her was pink. This video is going to be a puppy haul. I'm going to start with what I plan on bringing with me on Friday to pick her up. I got her this carrot stuffed animal with a little speaker inside. Next is her collar. It's just a really basic pink one. I got I got it because it was really light and I didn't want anything too too heavy on her when she first came home. But then I have this tag for her too. My phone number's on the front. That's why I'm covering it. Um, I'll show you the back though. It has her name and a paw print on the front. Um, so I have her collar and her toy. Her leash it matches the collar. It's just basic and pink. I don't want her to ruin any of the good leashes I have for her so I just got this really cheap one and then I got her this super nice hoop bag since it'll be going everywhere with us I wanted it to be aesthetically pleasing to look at and it has her name like stamped or something on the front I got it off of Etsy but it has a zipper right here it's like a leather it's super nice it has a zipper so it's easy to put like the poop bags in and then the hole is just at the bottom and then it has a clip thingy and then I have this blanket for her that I'm putting in this basket that I plan on carrying her home in. I'm gonna put pee pads at the bottom and, and then um, the blanket in there with her as well. I bought this bed a long time ago. I'm not gonna use it right away with her. In case she has an accident, it'll be, this bed will be kind of hard to clean. Maybe my other dog can use it or something. I'm sitting on a crate mat I have for her. Okay, and this over here is her crate. She will be crate trained, 100%. It's a 36 inch double door crate with a divider in the middle. Wherever like the blanket stops, that's how much space she's gonna have for now, just so she doesn't have an accident in her crate. I have this water bowl for her. It's just ceramic. It was like three bucks or something. I made this blanket for her. Shout out to Hunter for helping me pick the fabric for it. It's just gray plaid and like with white snowflakes all over it on one side and then a pretty pink on the other side. So this is just what I'm gonna put ow at the bottom of of her crate i'll fix that later i'll also have pee pads in there just in case but that is her living situation right now um she'll have a chew toy or something inside so she doesn't get bored <laughs> My bed has storage underneath, so there's four drawers, two on each side. So one drawer obviously is dedicated to all of my puppy things. This is the drawer, and if you open it, there's just a bunch of puppy things in there. I have this bandana, blue with rainbows and foams on it. This bandana right here. This one was originally for Maverick, and then there's this really simple bandana with avocados on it. And then this bandana, there's this um, dog account on Instagram who I followed for a while, and she was a golden retriever. Sadly, she did pass away. She was like six months old. She had a kidney failure, but basically, I don't remember the shop name, but they made a bandana dedicated to her and put all of the funds towards her GoFundMe. So I bought one in every size and it's called the Star of Paisley. Oh, I forgot I had this one. This one is so cute. Okay, well I have two of the rainbow telephone ones. And then she has this bandana as well. Um, a lot of these she won't be able to wear until she gets bigger. And then she has this bandana. It says it's my gotcha day. You can't really tell though. So I decided to make my own that says it's my gotcha day. And I like this one a 
lot. So this is what she's going to wear. Oh, I need to put that in there. This is what she's going to wear when I pick her up. I was not educated on anything at all a few months ago. So I bought this little harness for her and I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I need to get rid of it. And then I have this harness for her. It's really simple. I have this slow feeder bowl for her. I don't know. I've heard good things about it. That's why I bought it. <laughs> I don't think I'll need it later, but I have this for my car. So on my car, I have one for every dog I own. I have one that says, I love my Yorkie. And then one that says, I love my German Shepherd. And now on Friday, I get to put this one on my car that says, I love my Golden Retriever. And then I have this collar for her. It's a little bit bigger and heavier for when she grows a little bit more. It's super, super cute. She also has another tag on here. All of her tags are from Etsy. I have three different tags. As you can probably tell, I'm broke now. I have this toy for her. So I got this for her for Christmas photos. Um, it sounds like a bag of chips. It looks like a bag of chips. Sparkling rose. And then I have this donut for her. And then I have this cute little um, elephant rope toy. I don't think I'm gonna give to her until she gets a little bit bigger. One of my best friends, Hunter, recommend this, recommended this for me. Cactus toy. And then I got this pumpkin spice latte stuffed toy. I got her this collar. It's for Christmas time. I'll put it on her in December. It was super cute sorry i'm sitting like this my back hurts really bad because she is a service dog and she will be a service dog in training sorry i got her this harness on amazon pink and it has one strap of velcro it's super easy i just got this for her to get used to wearing a vest i'm just trying to avoid gear shyness and then this is her bigger dog tag that she'll wear when she's fully grown it's really big it has her name on it and my phone and address and then she already has a of gear that she can't even wear for like months. I will go ahead and show you that right now. Oh wait, but first, sorry. This is where, okay, so this is the situation I have right now. That's her crate, obviously, and then behind here I have a rack. This is going to be her food container and her treat container I have over here. This is the gear wall. That vest and that harness is secondhand from um, my friend CJ. Um, she's the service hyena on Instagram. That one's Mavericks, Mavericks, Mavericks. Um, I have this vest I got for her because I couldn't, I I still can't decide our team colors. I can't decide if I want it to be pink and gray or lavender and gray. So I got this gray vest just for training um, and it has service dog and training patches on it. This is Mavericks. This is hers I just got in. Obviously we won't be using it for a very long time. This is the traffic lead I got for her from CSJ Creations on Etsy. This is the leash. It's hands-free with the stoppers, purple and gray. And then I have this leash wrap right here. And then I have this patch for her. It's just her Instagram. It's a lot bigger than I expected, but it's fine. And then I have all of her pink patches down here. I have another do not distract, I'm working patch, but it's in my car. This is the crate mat. That I have. I haven't gotten her food yet because I'm still trying to do research on what food would be good for her. So if you have a golden or you have any suggestions on what food to feed a golden retriever, please let me know. I think that's it. So the next video will probably be our first day with her um, picking her up on Friday. Okay, that's it. Bye.